So, as Drake so eloquently said in his most recent outing with Nicki Minaj and Lil Wayne on Scene Green, I'm already known as the GOAT. By who? Who? Where they at? Tell me who these people are so I can guide their face to my hand. Because this is illicit, this is erroneous, this is a wry, the door is ajar. This isn't blasphemy. He's reached a certain point in his career where this isn't considered blasphemy. Around the time of him releasing nothing was the same and he had said something like this, this would be blasphemy. But now that we've gotten to what may in fact be the back end of Drake's career, he may be a legacy artist now, him uttering this, it's no longer blasphemy, but it is counterfactual. If you happen to be new to this video, think about spending some time here permanently, a permanent stay, buy yourself a house in one of our neighborhoods. Very great and luxurious neighborhood, stay a while. We do video game skits, we do movie reviews, album reviews, we do a lot of things here. And also don't forget to like, subscribe to the video. And if you're a straight up Drake stan, don't forget to dislike the video as well because you're probably not gonna like what I have to say, but everything that I'm saying it's pretty much factual. Opinion, it's my opinion. Opinions can be wrong. And I'm not even making an opinion here. I'm making a logical assessment. Who in Kendrick's verse did he mention? Who Kendrick himself said? Anybody else knew? Who was he better than? First he said, Kendrick, Jigger, or Nas? No, no, no. Eminem, Andre 3000? Hell no and no. Are we going to say, well, Drake is the greatest hip-hop artist? Is he better than Kanye? Has he done more for hip-hop than Kanye? I don't think so. He's the second greatest hip-hop artist. What other thing could I possibly give him? Greatest rapper? I mean, I, I may as well slap myself if I'm going to honestly try to debate for Drake on that point. There's, there's no debate there. What comes with being the greatest of all time in hip-hop? Why is there no consensus number one in hip hop? I will tell you why. Because each and every single individual in some way, shape, or form is lacking something. The only one being who probably doesn't is Jay-Z, which is why he's considered by most to be the greatest. You look at Biggie. Unfortunately, Biggie wasn't here long enough to add to his catalog. He only has those two, but the fact that he has those two albums that to this day, People still consider him the greatest of all time. Outstanding, terrific, masterful. Tupac, he wasn't the greatest lyricist. Tupac had a way with words, yes, and the way in which he utilized those words better than most who have ever done it. But in terms of going bar for bar, metaphors, double entendres, triple entendres, lexicons, and the, the no. Eminem. He doesn't have really any club hits outside of Superman and I guess Crack a Bottle or something, but I you probably couldn't even get any of those. Maybe Superman to get played in a club. You have to have a an ability to get every single area. Eminem is the greatest rhymer of words that have ever walked the face of the earth to me. He deserves to be a top five. Anyone who removes him from top five, you're blasphemous. Kendrick is well on his way to possibly being in a new top five in a way. He hasn't had a bad album. His worst album is Damn, and I would say Damn is an A-. minus. Who else can say that? Nas? I mean, you've got Illmatic, one of the greatest albums, period, of all time, but in terms of everything else, like, you know, is the, but in terms of his lyricism and everything else, the man is on another level. Who amongst these people is Drake better than? He's the greatest hit maker in hip hop history, I would say. But that's all I can give him. He's gone on a run that's never been done before and probably won't be emulated again, especially in today's culture with how hard it is to keep people's attention and to keep people invested for anything more than a year. For him to have done as much as he's done in the way that he's did it and to break one or two of the Beatles records, marvelous you're not breaking their number ones though but yeah you're breaking their other thing like most songs charting or whatever let's dissect why you can't be on this list you had a ghostwriting scandal 
You used reference tracks. No matter what happens, no matter what you do for the rest of your career, you are off that list. I just can't. It's like Barry Bonds, sorry, you can't be the greatest baseball player of all time because of that. Are you still a Hall of Fame candidate? Yes, you are. You should be there, but you know, that's a conversation or something else. I don't know when you have done this or when you haven't. If it was just that one song, I mean, you're still disqualified because none of them did that to our knowledge. The day one of the, somebody steps forward and say Eminem or Jay-Z did, I was like, yeah, you're removed too. Same energy. You you don't have one album in your catalog that anyone is saying could be the greatest album of all time. Eminem has like three of those. Kendrick has like two of those. Jay-Z has like three of those. Tupac has like two of those. Biggie has two of those. Albums of all time, not just hip hop albums, of all time. You don't have any of those. But Drake is the biggest rapper in the world. I'm like, not really, actually. If you want to go for a worldwide planet Earth basis on who the biggest is, Jay-Z is still bigger than Drake. Eminem is still bigger than Drake. Drake is mainly his biggest in the Western Hemisphere. He is not touring in any of these spots, spots like in Asia or he's going to Oceania or things like stadiums, selling out stadiums like damn Eminem or Jay-Z or some people can. He's not doing that. And then when it comes to classics, there isn't really a definitive consensus on if Drake even has a classic or not. I'd say that now that some years have passed, I would maybe say he has two now because it would be like take care and it'd be nothing was the same. But more often than not, I hear take care more than nothing was the same. It's just not on the same level. And what in Drake's catalog is better than the tops of these other people's catalog. The best Drake has to offer is average compared to Jay-Z, Eminem, Biggie, Tupac. And for Greatest Artists, again, I will reiterate this. If Kanye didn't exist, I can't give you Greatest Hip Hop Artists, but he does. And you don't have one album in your catalog better than College Dropout, better than Late Registration, better than Graduation, better than My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. You don't. So what am, what am I supposed to do? Like, what? I'm sorry. And finally, we can get down to something that's somewhat subjective, I would say. The allure or the gravitas of certain rap artists when it comes to legendary feats. Things like, an Eminem, oh, don't diss Eminem, or look at all these things. Eminem read the dictionary, or Jay-Z doesn't really write. He just freestyles his verses, or you've got that. Drake doesn't have any of that. And to be quite honest with you, when that Meek Mill Twitter finger type thing beef first popped off, I heard a lot of people saying Meek was about to, was washing Drake. That's all I heard was Meek was watching Drake. Drake, uh, Meek is the one that dropped the ball there. But the perception from the first onset of that, oh yeah, Meek's gonna body him. Nobody, Drake is gonna body No, nobody was really thinking that. And then there was a little bit of a rumor that Drake was going to diss Eminem. And then he's like, oh, I got some form of that. It didn't turn out to be true necessarily, but the internet was like, please stop. So... In conclusion, I will say that Drake is one of the greatest artists of all time, but he isn't anywhere near the top, top pinnacle or the hierarchy on that list. He's not the greatest hip hop artist of all time. He can't be the greatest rapper of all time for obvious reasons. He can't be in the top five. Even if we take ghostwriting away and say, Ghostwriting reference tracks and all that, that never happened. Even then, I can't, he wouldn't crack the top five. I think he'd be like number seven or number six. Like number, like borderline number five. I'd have to like really reach to get him into number five because he's just, it's just not on the same tier and landscape and legendary feats of those who I mentioned before. Lil Wayne has better legendary feats than Drake, if we're gonna be honest. And I mean, that 
do tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Uh, if you bother to watch this far again, tell me. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.